This is me, about to ask a millionaire to watch football in their mansion. But I didn't want to do something as awkward as this alone, so my friend Zach is joining me. Hello sir, how are you? And we're doing this in Mayfair, London, where the average house price is $5 million. But we could never have guessed how ridiculous this video would turn out. Don't look so suspicious, come and stand beside me. Hello. We're in the area today, we're doing something a bit weird. We're doing a social experiment where we're trying to see if strangers want to watch some football. Yeah. No? No problem. Have a lovely weekend. No worries. Thank you so see much. See you later. Oh, John, this one kills me. Zach, come on, I man. can't find sense for this one, John. I'll tell you what, he's got some confidence in it. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello. Hello. How's it going? My name's John. We're doing something fun in the area today. We're asking strangers if they'd like to watch football with us. Are you into football by chance? Oh, no, not sorry. No, sorry. And I have meetings today, unfortunately. Are you a football fan? You're not? Oh yeah, I hope you find someone. You're doing very well, mate. You're doing very well. You're doing very well. I can just feel your cringe. It's seeping out of you. But even though Zach was hitting every second, I made sure he knocked two, and he was about to have an awkward experience. Come on, Zach, you got this. You're lovable, you're likable. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, how are um, you? Hi, um, we're doing a little social experiment today. We're doing- I you, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, thank you. <gasps> Can't hear us coming to the door. Oh, hello, how are you doing? Um, oh, hi. hello, how are you? Um, we're doing something of like a social experiment today. Okay. Uh, to do with football. Are you a fan of football? And we're seeing if basically strangers would let us in to watch the game later. Sorry, my English is in progress, so I can't... Oh, no problem. Where are you from? Brazil. Brazil, Joga Benito. To let people to see well. So us two, to watch the game on TV? Okay, we'll invite the people. A stranger, yeah. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> no. Wow. You're not feeling spontaneous. <laughs> I, yeah, does that something sound like you'd be interested in, or? No. No, okay. Didn't lure in with the, would you like to watch the game? You know what? Yeah, that was the thing that did, that was the thing that did it. <laughs> but we couldn't stop knocking, because if we couldn't get into a $5 million house today, we would have to knock on $10 million mansions tomorrow. And knowing Zach was nervous, I decided to play a cruel prank on him. I'm going to bell it. No, knock. Come, Come on, I can't. Not, Not on man. this one, man. <laughs> Not on this one. Leaving them to the wolves. Hello, how are you doing? Um, we're doing a bit of social experiment today uh, to see whether people would let us uh, watch football with them later tonight. Are you into football at all? No. No, no worries. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Cheers. I swear to God. <laughs> After knocking on so many more doors, we headed down a quiet street and Zach was about to get lucky. Do you see, you need to remember the worst anyone can say is no. Yes. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Um, we're doing a social experiment basically to see whether someone would let us uh, watch football in their house today. <laughs> Obviously, Chelsea versus Aston Villa. Are you yeah, a Chelsea fan? Uh, you're totally welcome. Uh, totally welcome, really? Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, I don't know if, we, if we're going to watch that match, but I lost my flatmates. And, yeah, Seriously? Oh, amazing. Like an open house. Uh, a lot of really? Oh, really? Mate, can, I, um, can I take your number for, for one to then text you if, you, can, oh, so you, oh, if you're not going to watch the what's game? What's your name? Don't want uh, to. Uh, William, 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 Zach, thank you house, so much. This house is crazy. Thank you. <laughs> not the craziest thing you've done today, then, I reckon. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Thank, Thank you so much. Have a good day. day. Cheers. Well, that went a little bit too easy. <laughs> that was just, do we say yes? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we can find a better offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah, go better, up better in house, house value. <laughs> Let's go up in house value. So that's exactly what we did. But as we kept going and waited on a call from Guillermo, he never called. It's not him. So as darkness fell on London, we made the awkward walk back to his house. You doing it? Come on. He knows that's us. Who else knocks doors? Hello? Hello, how's it going? Yeah, good, how are you? Good. We were talking to, I think, your flatmate earlier today. Yeah. We just thought we'd come back and ask because we didn't hear from him. Cool, cool. We'll be back until like 15, 20 minutes. Lovely to meet you anyway. Yeah, thank you so right, much. Nice to meet you. Chow the pub for 15 minutes. There's a minutes, chance, yeah, pub for 15 minutes and pray for a text to come through. As time ticked on at the pub, the phone didn't ring, so we knocked again but this time there was no answer. So that means we would have to come back again, but instead of $5 million houses in Mayfair, we would be knocking $10 million mansions in the most expensive area in the UK, Virginia water. And Zach couldn't make it, so I decided to make my friend Alex press the first buzzer. Oh my God. You're doing nothing illegal, do man. I actually can't do it. Do it. No, you have to do it. <laughs> oh God. 
Oh my god. Did you press the button? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, yeah, I've done it. My heart is fucking racing. <laughs> and after waiting for a minute, I let Alex walk away. I don't think I've ever been as scared in my life of doing anything. <laughs> oh, this is a big old house. Caution, dogs running free. Oh. <laughs> he said that. I, I don't know what I'm going to say. No answer. Hello, Hello how are you? I have a strange question for you. Hi there. Um, we're doing a strange social experiment in the area today to see if he... Hello, can you hear me? We're asking strangers if they want to watch football. No. No problem. Have a lovely day. Are you OK? OK. Uh, no, no, thank you. No problem. Have a lovely day. Right, cheers. Cheers. Friendly. When I get the no, I feel really stiff because I feel like they're still looking at you on the camera. Yeah, oh, they are. He said he was okay, which means I'm not okay as well. <laughs> I don't have to talk to him. Okay. Is that a security van? Oh my god. Right, come on, let's send it in here. Just keep the camera low. We headed past the security van into the gated community, but as I pressed more buzzers, nobody was answering, which was starting to make me worried. We're losing the light. Do you think someone's put a wee message in a WhatsApp group or something and been like, these guys are weirdos? But as I was waiting at the gate of a mansion, the owner arrived home in his Tesla. We're knocking strangers' doors to ask if they want to watch football with us later. It's Man United Wolves tonight. We're, we're seeing if anyone wants to watch the game with us. Not today. <laughs> Have a good one. So with the light dropping fast, we approached another mansion and our luck was about to change. <laughs> uh, no, it's a stranger. Ring that and try and get that to stop. Oh no, what have I done? Hit this one, see what happens. Hello, how's it going? Um, I have a weird one for you today. We're doing a bit of like a social experiment where we are asking strangers if they'd like to watch football with us. And we're doing a video where we're asking strangers to watch football in their house. Um, Is that a... Are you interested? I mean, I'm not, but... Yeah, my boyfriend could be. And as we were waiting to hear back, something shocking happened. Oh my word. Alex. The gates are opening. <laughs> I have no idea why the gates are opening. Have we just lingered long enough? Can I come and say hello? Are you into football? Sorry? Are you into football? Yeah, We're asking strangers in the area today if, we're, if we can watch football with them in their house. Yeah, sure. Are you joking? <laughs> I'm John, nice to meet you. I'm Andrew. Andrew? Yeah. You look like, this is unbelievable, this outfit. <laughs> this is Alex. <laughs> nice to meet you, mate. Hi, Arva. Hey, come in. I thought we were gonna be, we've been knocking doors all day. This place is unbelievable. But I had no idea yet just how ridiculous this house really was. And as we headed into the biggest back garden I've seen in my life, the football pitch, I started to understand why Andrew decided to let two strangers into his home. Yeah, I mean, this, this house is like proper tech. It's, like a show, it's, it's a show home. It's a show home? A show home, yeah. So it's called a High Life Show Home, yeah. So High Life is a business that I own that specializes in Samsung technology. Because what we do here is we show the context. Mm. Class. Hey, hello. Bloodlet <laughs> pitch. Yeah. And we began the tour where Andrew showed us his state of the art home gym, and I decided to ask him the big question Why did you let us in? Um, I don't know, I was a bit hungover, and uh, I didn't know what to expect. So when you opened the gate, I was just like, why is I thought I was in trouble. Yeah, you would, you would be if my dog came out. <laughs> yeah. Is he all friendly and all, though? Yeah, 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 he's a family dog, but he's a trained killer. I mean, I've got, I've got a kill word in there. A what? A word, I have to, if I say he'll oh, attack you. OK, that's not... So is, is to, yeah, we won't say, but he's there to protect the family, basically. Yeah, yeah, no, that's unreal. But before we went inside, I had to take a shot on the floodlit 5G football pitch. I've never been in a house. I've never been in a hotel this big. Mate, what is happening? I haven't even seen inside the house. But now it was time to tour the mansion where I met Andrew's killer dog, Rocco. Rocco, you let us in, lad. <laughs> I'm scared, actually. <laughs> Don't say the word. Mm. Oh, hello, Rocco. Is he okay to pet yeah. him and stuff? Yeah, he's a bit of a crotch sniffer. Hello, you. Yeah, look, at this for, look at this for a room. This is where the magic happens. Do you work in here? Yeah. Do you do a lot of hours? Yeah, I do a lot of work in here. And as usual, eight to five inch Samsung TV. Cool. Huh? And you said you have a bigger one than this? Yeah. So yeah. that you come in here and pretend to work and sit and watch football, is that what happens? Basically, yeah. <laughs> I just shut the door and go, yeah, I'm on a really important call. I just sit there watching football eating crisps. <laughs> and Rocco was keen to show us his indoor swimming pool. Oh, oh you want to swim in? I thought you might do, lad. Come on. <laughs> 
Ja, absolut. Ich liebe es. Komm. But as we headed towards the giant TV, I saw the most ludicrous thing about the house yet. What on earth are these bad boys? So these are red-bellied piranhas from the Amazon. When we had various attempts, they didn't always feed them in time, so they'd start to eat each other. And then this is the... Yeah. The main event. The main event, lads. I think we found the best TV in the country. Did you just click it's on It's a one? movie mode. <laughs> We can even, uh, even say goodbye to the piranhas. How big is that TV? This TV is 146 inches. <laughs> I think I need to like stand beside it for reference for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's massive, isn't it? I am a large man as well. He's okay to jump on a call and he's left us in his house. I just can't stop laughing at how ridiculous this is. People aren't going to believe this. No. A lot of trust here. What a guy. What a... How did this happen? I have literally knocked about a million doors in the last week and this guy just opened his gates and was like, come on lads, what do you reckon this house is worth? Half a billion quid probably. <laughs> is that a billion quid? How has this happened? <laughs> So when Andrew finished his call and got changed, I asked him to show me his supercar collection. <laughs> Can I sit on it? Look at this bad boy. So this is your favourite? Absolutely. What's not to like? That's <laughs> unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, honestly, it's the most incredible car. Perfect. Someday. Amazing. Someday, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> With the supercars ticked off, we headed inside to his deal room where he had the coolest beer fridge imaginable. I'm still looking as to work a beer. I feel you're going to open something that's going to surprise me. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that happened. Oh, banging. Look at that. So this one, my, one of my top bankers let me over 200 million, this guy, to, to build my portfolio. This is one of my favourite things here. DAGS, thanks for being a legend. The world is a bright place. Thanks for always honouring your word. It's his goal. It's important to do what you say you're going to do, right? And that's in any part of your life, and particularly in business. Cheers to that. Cheers. And as we sat down with our beers, Andrew opened up to me about whether money really does bring happiness. You know, once I made a few quid, it made things much harder. You know, when you're on the journey, on your way up, that's the fun bit, that's the exciting bit. The higher you get, the more people are trying to take chunks out of you, and then you start to sadly trust less people as well. And it can be quite lonely when it's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've had some anxiety myself, I've struggled the last couple of years, and it, it's tough. But, um, yeah, certainly money doesn't uh, make you happy, it just helps you deal with some of the more difficult times, I think. Yeah. We finished our beer and headed to the giant TV screen to watch the football. Oh, here they come. The players are the same size as us. <laughs> <laughs> they are, pretty much. Do you want another beer? Can I grab one, please? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, grab us, grab us all one, yeah? Look at this, this level of, like, trust. This is unreal, isn't it? And while this was an incredible room, it wasn't anywhere near as cool as the room with a secret door that Andrew showed us after the game. Wolves Man United has just kicked off on that massive screen, and I've just set my so rare rivals team, where I went for five Wolves players. It's a free-to-play fantasy football game that I can win signed jerseys, match tickets, and other pro so rare cards that I can play with to win bigger prizes. Sign up using the link below to get started for free, and let's see if I can win something today. And with that Marcus Rashford goal, my team is dead. And with my so rare rivals off to a bad start, I took a break from the game to grab a plate of Chinese food that Andrew ordered us, and I met his girlfriend, Alicia. Yeah, Hi, have have a second, take a plate. Thank you. Load up. Load up, boys. Then went back to the game, where once I'd finished my food, I got comfortable on the sofa with the trained killer, Rocco. But with the score at 3-2 late in the game, the game wasn't over. 95th minute, Rocco heard that. You wonder what's going on. Real. But unbelievably, there was a winner in the 97th minute. Go on, the lads. 4-3. But the game didn't come close to what we were about to see, as Andrew took us upstairs to show us his bathroom with a 24 karat gold ceiling, before taking us to the most ridiculous room of his mansion. Play a bit of pool, a bit of foosball. And even though Andrew owned a signed Cristiano Ronaldo shirt and posters from movies he's produced, they weren't the craziest things in his games room. So we had this made. Okay. My name is Bond. James Bond. And then I can't show you because it's in about, you know, already. Oh. No. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my word. And this is only opened by that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How cool is that? And then here, you come out here, and you come in here, look at the shot. Unbelievable. Isn't that special? How did we find you? <laughs> <laughs> Knocking strangers' doors has given me some of the craziest experiences of my life. And if you want to see me knocking more strangers' doors, click here.